Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm joined by my good friend Kat um, and she has a super special tarot reading for us. So that's what today's video is going to be. So please leave some lovely comments for Kat down below. And do you want them to follow you anywhere? Uh, no, I turn on any channels actually. Once, if she starts building like a tarot reading channel, I will add it on to it later on. But in the meantime, is there anything you'd like to say? Um, just like get ready for the energy, settle yourselves in a nice cup of tea, and you know, just really sit and enjoy, really. Yeah, thank you though. Just a little bit louder, because I don't know. I like pick it up. Yeah, just three of them from anywhere. I kind of want to like feel their energy. Yeah. be and you've made this decision for yourself and ultimately you'll end up where you're supposed to be and your last card 
is the Five of Wands, which means that there's a great surge of power coming to you soon. So a lot of and a lot of new energies. It might be a new person in your life. It might be energy being redirected to your new path that we spoke about earlier. But ultimately, you've got you've got some new beginnings. Very interesting. Does that relate to anything that you? Yeah. The question that you asked the cards. You don't have to tell me what it is, but do you feel that resonates with any of them? A hundred percent. Really? Like, it's very, very strongly. That's really interesting. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> it's very impressive. <laughs> it's, it's, the cards can give you a different perspective on so many things. Yeah. You can relate it to any kind of situation in your life. There's always some way that the cards will connect to you. It might not be necessarily. You might ask the cards one thing and they might give you something completely different. Speaking yeah. about a completely other section of your life, but ultimately you pick the cards, you shuffle them yourself, you're, they're intertwining with your energy. Yeah. And they're going to tell you exactly what you need to. That's so interesting. shuffle the deck again for me. Um, I don't know what question I should think of. Is there anything that's troubling you in your life at the moment mm. that you think you would like to talk about? Anything to do with um, your schoolwork or, um, relationship or family relationships? Maybe like... Or identity? I'm very... Um, like confused as to where like where life takes me after uni absolutely yeah next like, steps yeah like next steps after you take your degree like where do you go from where there? do i go from yeah, here like, absolutely, yeah. i don't know what country i don't know yeah like what path i want to take there's so many where, options isn't there yeah. especially with the kind of work you're going into you pretty much have yeah. your pick of the lot in terms of your future so, I guess my question is, where will life take me? Yeah. Or like, what should I... I feel like I should ask a specific question. Yeah. Is it like, where does life take me? Or what should I be looking out for? Yeah. I don't know. What do you... What are you more interested in? What... Do you want guidance or do you want an answer?
So your question was the deck, can we just repeat it? Yeah, like, where is life gonna take me after university? Right, okay. So we have the Queen of Wands, which means that there's a divine feminine energy in your life. Okay. So it might be some kind of female empowerment, it might mean a new lease of independence for yourself, so that might be, you were talking about where you might end up in terms of what country. It might be somewhere completely different to where you've been, so not necessarily the UK or Spain. So it could be a, a new start, a new independence for yourself, so that might be a new independence um, in a completely different country or in somewhere that you'd never previously considered before, or a new area of somewhere you've already been. And we have the reversed Knight of Cups, which means that it might be something that you previously hadn't considered. So it might be somewhere that, you know, has, n has never crossed your mind. So somewhere completely random. I don't know, what you've, I think you've visited quite a lot of countries. So it could be anywhere, but it could be Bali for some reason if you decide that you end up there. So is it something completely new? So okay. that might relate to the independent side of what we were talking about. So that you're feeling quite... Know, refreshed, okay. like we were saying earlier with the new star. And the final card we have is Knight of Wands, which is also inverted as well, which means that, um, you know, it's it, it might be something that's done solo. So okay. we're talking about the independence, so Knight of Wands um, signifies, you know, um, again, like a new beginning. So similarly to before, we have with the last reading. So it seems that you're possibly in somewhere that you hadn't considered before, quite independently living it might be you know quite a scary transition but I think ultimately you will end up somewhere that you love you will be you know feminine energy it will be you yourself and your work and exactly where you want to land up at least for now it might not be your forever location but it will at least be somewhere that you know you're meant to be and it will teach you a great lesson the king of wands often signifies that. Very interesting. So yeah. I feel like it's good to know that everything's gonna sort itself out. I feel like now I don't know what I want to do and this tells me it's so new. You, you won't <laughs> know until it happens. You won't, you won't know and that's exactly what the cards are saying. It's it's very new, it's very unexpected. Mm. The cards don't know nor do you know and yeah. that's possibly why the cards are reading that as well is that ultimately the person asking the question doesn't, has, doesn't even have an inkling even in the, in the deeps of themselves, they're not sure either. Yeah. But ultimately, you're going to be independent, it's going to be somewhere you hadn't previously considered, but you're going to be in the right place for you. Oh, that's so interesting. So yeah. <laughs> you're so welcome. <laughs> Tell me what like, all the stones are, if you know. Yeah, sure. I know majority of them. <laughs> I can tell you guys. So here we have Lapis Luzi, which is a stone that's good for manifestation. Mm. So if you're ever trying to, you know, bring something into fruition for yourself and you're writing manifestations, different manifestation techniques, but, you know, even if they're not ones that necessarily include crystals, this is a great one to have. This is um, Selenite, which is great for cleansing spaces. So we burn some sage before the ceremony and this will help with just cleaning and any other energies that are you going you know, going to conflict with what we're trying to experience here. I didn't know what this one was for this. It is it's this sort of slipped my memory. Here we have clear quartz, which again is quite a good um it's good for the mind in terms of like if you're overwhelmed. Like it's mm. you know, it might say it's a clear quartz, it's kind of clearing kind of properties. We have a little bit of amethyst here. I have another piece over here, which is good for focus. They're quite good for studying. I have one at my desk at my work. They're quite good for focus and they're quite a healing stone as well. So you could use it for mental health issues. They've been quite well for them as well in terms of, you know, cleaning the mind. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> um, we have rose quartz, which now classic. Have another piece of it over here 
which is a classic love stone. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean romantic love. It can also help with self-love and your various different kind of relationships, like platonic love and family love and that kind of situation. I personally use it for self-love. Um, it's something that I deal with at the moment, but it's something I actually have another piece of <laughs> over here. But, you know, obviously a, key, a kiki stone. And we have tiger's eye, which is also another great one for healing and, you know, um, self-reflection. Okay. Um, which is quite a good one, again, to use with manifestation to really help you think about what you want to achieve with your manifestation goals. And here we have citrine, which is quite a joyful stone. It's good for, you know, good moods, happiness, um, you know, just general, you know, um, good energies. And we have rockadite again, which is another good one for um, self-reflection. And I often use this one when I'm feeling quite um, lost. It can help a little bit with, you know, guiding you back to your mm -hmm. um, destined path. And here we have, oh my gosh, this is one of my favourite ones and I cannot remember the name of it. Oh my goodness, that's really bad with me. Oh my goodness. That is really bad. I have this one and I can't remember the name of it. Ah, oh, Carnelian, that's it. <laughs> Just give me a moment there. Carnelian, which is really good um, in terms of attracting friends. Okay. Um, a lot of people use it and they say that, you know, they've attracted friends and family in terms of into quite, just, I said, it's attracting stone. So a lot of people that, you know, work with Carnelian say that, you know, all of a sudden they've, they've found loads of friends. People are really interested in getting to know them, etc. Oh. But it's a really, really good stone for that. Um, and then we have some more clear quartz that we talked about earlier. And then we have some um, orange... I think this is orange citrine, so it's similar to this one, but it's a different stone. And this one, again, is quite good for joy and overall happiness and contentment in our lives. And then we have just a little bit of turquoise, which is a classic good one for, um, you know, self-reflection once again. Very yeah, nice. those are the crystals. But we just use them um, during tarot just to help um, bring the energies that we want to into the space. So we've kind of gone for a mixture today because we weren't sure about what Greta wanted to discuss, but... You know, it's always good to have these a mixture of different energies around us when completing tarot, just to make sure that we are covering all of our bases, we're feeling very rounded, so that the cards can better help us with predicting and assessing the future. Very nice. Yes. Thank you, Karen. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Um.